So hello guys and welcome to my newest course, which is about this character that you see in your screen, which is here, <laughs> yes, this character. And um, this is my first Blender tutorial about characters. And yeah, this is my first uh, Blender tutorial uh, from front to end, how to make a character from scratch. And uh, this is for absolute beginners. And let me tell you a little bit of how I started using Blender and why I'm using Blender and stuff like this. So I started using Blender, <laughs> I may say 2008, but it was old version of Blender back then, of course, and it was not that good. It was crashing and uh, stuff, so I left it for good. But now after 2.8, a few years back, or yeah, two years, I think, Blender started to make a big impact. It uh, started to be pretty stable uh, with a lot of tools new and I started to use it again just for a few things here and there. Then a few months back from now, I tried to sculpt a little bit more in Blender because I'm a ZBrush artist as you can, as you probably know. If you don't know, I am. Yeah, I'm a 3D artist for a long time, like 2000 and I think 2000 and nine or ten i begin to be uh begun my 3d art career uh, 3d characters i make and a few months ago i started to sculpt a little bit i have a youtube channel and i made a few youtube videos and it was nice but this year when it started 2024 uh, 2022 uh, when it started i decided to stop using zbrush and use only blender and try to do even my job because I work in the industry. I work for Gameloft. I started to using even for my job. I started using only Blender. I just decided to jump into the into the deep, as you can see, and to learn how to swim. And this is the the best way to learn how to swim, just to jump into the deep, into the deep. And it turns out that it's not that bad. But in order to kind of get used to the program, in order to get better with the program to get good with the program i needed to do some things so i will show you what i did i did this character i don't know which one was the first but uh this character was i made just to uh try to make something with more tools because uh, in the beginning i was sculpting only on one sphere and that's it now i wanted to add a body which is another object the legs, another object, uh, pants, boots, and all those things, objects and objects, and to make even a weapon here, as you can see. So this was uh, kind of nice. Although this uh, characters, the concept is very cool. So I made just a little bit and then I left it because I wanted to make something else. So this is uh, another one I did. This is a complete character. This time I rigged this guy, I made a pose and everything. So this could be my next course, by the way, but for now we don't talk about this. <laughs> so this is looking fine. Yes, it's not finished. It, there is a things and here I just wanted to see if I can make a character with props, with a little bit of materials, texture here and there and a pose absolutely in Blender and I I did it and it, it's fine. It's not good. It's not bad. By the way, the concept is from my favorite artist, one of my favorite artists, Patry Balanovsky, this one. And uh, this one is also from him. This one I also made and rigged. This one just for rest, just for to, um, to kind of make a little bit of rest because uh, it's only with two sub tools. Uh, maybe, yeah, the eyes are a little bit, yeah, but it's, it's easier much easier character with uh, textures this character you don't see it yeah this uh again the concept is from patrick balanovsky my my daughter she's three and a half she saw the concept and asked me can i do this uh, can you do this in 3d and i did this in front of her then i refined it a little bit and i gave it to a friend of mine to print it. Now I will have uh, soon a figure of this uh, sculpted. Uh, I mean, 3D sculpt, so it's fine. This is my first one. And this one is our 
concept basically. Yes. This one I did just for test to make the character and it's yeah, it has some render even. But this is fast. This is just for one day. I did it. And it's looking relatively nice. So, next one, next file is this rabbit for example. It has a uh, not too much tools, but uh, teeth and this. And I wanted to make it a little bit clean, especially on the face. The arms obviously are not, but those characters I did for a few hours, each one, each. Because all those characters that you will see now, they're made uh, super quick. I made them for no time at all. I mean, for a few hours, as I told you. And all of the them, like 10 or I'm not sure how much are they, I did for two weeks, probably. So this was a crash course for me in Blender. But um, with every character, again, the concept for this one is Patry Blanowski. The previous one, by the way, the concept is from one of my colleagues, Maya. And she is a very good uh, 2D artist. She's trying now to make 3D stuff also, but uh, this is uh, from her 2D concept. This one is also from Patry. It's not finished, of course. As you can see, it looks pretty nice, though. Uh, Patry Balanovsky. This one is again from Patry Balanovsky. It's a, a cool dog. Here I tried again a little bit of texturing, a little bit of, uh, you know, more uh, folds on the, on the fabrics. This was training, you know. I was training and I was having fun also. This one I tried to do, but I've just left it because, I don't know, it was a little bit complicated uh, for, for me. I wanted to have a little bit of rest, so I did this one. <laughs> and this one is not very... Uh, I mean, it looks simple. Again, the concept from Patry Balanowski, but it's not the simplest, but it's fine. I mean, I wanted to do this character for the course, for the beginners, but it's not that simple for beginners, in my opinion. So, yeah, I did the mouse. This one I did because I liked one of the guys in... Uh, it's, it's a French guy. What was the name? I forgot it. But he's my friend. Uh, yeah, I forgot his name, but he's my friend. And, uh, yeah. He just shown this in his Facebook and I liked it and I made it 3D. It's nothing too much, again, for a few hours. This one also was just for rest, just for a few hours. It uh, has textures, but I don't know where they are now. Ah, they're removed. Oh, no problem, it's okay. It's fine. But it's uh, just, uh, again, from... I think the concept is, again, Patry Balanovsky. I'm not sure exactly. And let's see the last file. This thing, let's see what it is. Ah. This is just another concept uh, that I tried to do. It's a little bit, but you know, I didn't want to put more time. I, I wanted to put just a few hours and then go to the next one just to uh, learn how to start it quickly to make uh, the fast, the overall shapes and everything. So I didn't put too much time on this one. Yes, because it's a pretty complex concept. This one I did just for fun, f without a concept, just uh, just from imagination. The face and the horse and everything, it's just too much things on the face. But overall, you see, you can do anatomy in Blender without any issue. This one is, uh, by the way, I will show you uh, my absolute beginner ZBrush course, which I have. And you can see on my art station and my Udemy and everywhere. And this is the last thing I did. Uh, this was just, uh, just again from, from my head. I mean, just a boy, kind of a boy. And since this was just a boy, really, I did make uh, the head, the hair, a little bit more interesting because otherwise it would be really just a boy. But it uh, turns out pretty well. I mean, I spent a few hours also on this one, like. Maybe five hours, I'm not sure how much. But the idea here is to have a shirt with a, with this kind of a color and to have... I cannot zoom out at some point. What's happening? Yes, okay. 
uh, to have also pants, to have a boots, uh, and those kind of things, to have a lot of things, because in the beginning it's difficult to kind of break yourself, to have a lot of objects in your scene. So, uh, yeah, which is our character? This one is uh, our current character that we have done in this course. And let me show you a little bit about this. So, uh, this is the artist, Dima Egorov, which, of course, is like this. Uh, this is his concept. I asked him about it. He didn't reply, but I decided to use it anyway. But I asked him, so I think it's okay. And uh, this is his art station. By the way, it's super under uh, underrated. He's super underrated because he has amazing stuff. Very good artist. And I think he deserves at least 30,000 followers, not 6,000 as he has. So yeah, this is my art station. If you have any questions or you need some feedback on your art, especially on this course, you can ask me in uh, by uh, messaging me here in our station. Or you can, uh, uh, if you bought, bought this course in Udemy, of course, you can always click the Q&A or message me there. Uh, doesn't matter. So this is the way you can contact me. Here I have some courses. So this is one of the courses. This guy is the French guy that I've talked about uh, the other thing. Um, Captain Fennec is his work, and he is Frank de Moulier. Uh, it's pretty nice art. This is the concept, by the way, I'm talking about. And I made uh, Captain Fennec on his concept. So this is a course about uh, ZBrush, Blender, and Substance Painter, absolute beginner course. So if you want to learn ZBrush, after all, because ZBrush, if you want to work in the industry, if you want to work for films, for movies, for um, big games, ZBrush is your thing. You have to do the high policy in ZBrush. But uh, for more normal or more stylized characters, or characters like this, for example, you can do them in Blender with, without any issue because they don't have super high details or something. This is, again, in ZBrush, a cartoon character in ZBrush course. I have a beginner course in ZBrush, as you can see, and also in Substance Painter, a beginner course. And for those of you who bought this course in, uh, or not bought this course, but uh, downloaded this course in uh, from the torrents, it's okay. I don't mind because when I was young, I was, you know, doing the same thing to teach myself. I didn't have so much money. I ate uh, only. I have money only to feed myself and not with very expensive foods. So I use the torrents, so I understand if people doesn't have money and go to the torrents, it's not a problem. All my courses, by the way, are in some torrent sites. I will not say them, but they are there. Anyway, uh, if you bought this course, thank you very much. Or if you plan to buy it, buy it also, I thank you, because this will support me and I will continue making uh, this kind of courses or even better courses. Hopefully, they will be better. But in this course, you will learn how to make this character from scratch uh, in Blender only and render it with shadow, with turntable, with kind of everything. You see, turntable we have. This will be at the end, of course. In the beginning, we have to model everything. I have to show you how to model hard surface, uh, soft surface, of course, to how to sculpt. We even have a kind of a weapon <laughs> I modeled just uh, it's not in the concept but just to show you a little bit more hard surface modeling let me show you a little bit again about uh, this is my youtube channel if you want you can visit it it has a lot of videos about anatomy about you know how to make a fist how to make uh, an arm a human arm of course how to make uh, the eyeball because for sculptors, how to make a real eyeball, it's pretty important. And I say about size, about everything. This is about uh, hand. There, there are a few videos you can choose. Uh, there, I mean, they could be useful. Especially if you want to make heads. I have a lot of videos about heads. Kind of realistic heads. 
about female head, about male head. I am making uh, some uh, beginner sculpting mistakes. I'm fixing and also also I have a video about the skull, very important, and about my tablet, what tablet I'm using, and also what kind of computer I'm using also. So, yeah, you can check those out. And I will see you in the next video where we start using Blender from scratch. It's very exciting because Blender is free. Amazing program, by the way. I'm super excited about it. And it kind of, I don't know, I, I kind of get the life uh, again for my um, sculptings and stuff. I start using only Blender. I do everything in Blender. And I'm super excited because it's a free program. It has a lot of user base. A lot of people are using it. A lot of fans. Uh, super nice people. And um, I'm pretty, pretty uh, happy and excited to work with Blender and to make courses about Blender. So, see you in the next video.